हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पीएम नेटवर्किंग गाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रूबल सूट लेयर टू नेटवर्क एज यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर आई हैव टू मल्टी लेयर स्विच स्विच अलेवन एंड स्विच नंबर ट्वेल्व बोथ आर डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड थ्रू स्विच अलेवन देयर आर टू कंप्यूटर्स राइट कंप्यूटर थ्री एंड कंप्यूटर फोर कंप्यूटर थ्री इज मेंबर ऑफ वी लैन टेन एंड आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ दिस कंप्यूटर इज वन नाइनटी फाइन so this machine is member of vlan 10 in the same way this machine is also member of vlan 10 ip address of this machine is 10.2 uh, vlan is 10 and this machine is member of vlan 20 okay so here ip address you can see 192.168.20.1 right and this pc is member of vlan 20 in the same way this pc is also member of vlan 20 that means these two pcs are member of vlan 10 and these two pcs are member of vlan 20 so we need to uh, forward traffic of multiple vlan through this single link so we will configure this link as trunk link actually i have already configured this link as trunk link but problem is this pc is not able to communicate with this pc this pc pc number 3 is not able to ping pc number 5 okay and both belongs to same vlan right and both connected uh, to different switches and link between switches is configured as trunk so first of all let me show you some configuration right then i will show you how to troubleshoot so in this video you will understand how to troubleshoot layer 2 network right so whenever scenario will be like this uh why two machines are how two machines can be uh, not able to ping with each other if both belongs to same vlan so problem can be there on trunk link as well problem can be there on switch uh, with vlan misconfiguration maybe engineers have configured vlan wrong right wrong vlan or wrong port so first of all we will verify these two things vlan configuration and trunking okay so before that let me show you ip configuration of switches so here uh, on switch is not on pc so here you can see ip address of this machine is 192.168.10.1 in the same way i have configured ip address on each computers and i have configured trunk link between switch 1 and switch 2 now let me show you the configuration of switch 11 guys or you can consider switch 11 as switch 1 as well okay so let's suppose this one is switch 1 okay now here i am going to check first of all vlan brief so vlan brief as you can see ethernet 0/0 should be in vlan 10 and ethernet 0/2 should be in vlan 20 so let me check okay so here you can see there is one vlan vlan 10 okay state is active and which port is member of this vlan ethernet 0/1 great it's right right okay so vlan 20 and port is ethernet 0/2 fine so vlan configuration on this switch is correct right now let me check trunk so interface trunk so after that you will check trunk that that uh, is trunk configured or uh, on switches or not right so let me run this command and here you can see which port is trunk ethernet 0/0 this port is my trunk and mode is on right so that means uh we uh, uh, we have configured we have not configured trunking by negotiation we have configured trunking manually between switch 1 and switch 2 and which protocols i have used dot 1q right and status is you can see trunking native vlan is 1 right okay but guys let me show you that this pc is not able to ping 192.168.10.2 right uh, this is ip address of pc5 so pc1 should able to ping pc5 but you can see pc1 is not able to ping so that's why i am troubleshooting so i have check vlan and trunking on switch 11 and uh, i think configuration of both is correct now let me uh, check vlan and trunking on switch number 12 and this is interview asked scenario based interview asked question right 
okay so run enable command here and now so vlan brief first of all let me check vlan database okay so 0 slash 2 is member of which vlan 0 slash 2 is member of uh, vlan 10 0 slash 2 okay fine and this port 0 slash 1 is member of vlan 20 great and this port is member of vlan now let me check trunking so interface trunk here you can see trunk is there no problem this port is trunk mode is on native vlan is 1 and the status is trunking but guys you know what is the problem why pc3 is not able to ping to pc5 problem is here on switch 11 you can see okay so this port is trunk and here also you can see encapsulation protocol is dot 1q and there is one more way to check uh, layer 2 protocols on ports so command will be so interface e 0 slash 0 and will say switch port and here you can see encapsulation administratively trunking encapsulation protocol is dot 1q and operational trunk this one is input this one is output right so output is trunking with the help of which protocol dot 1q right but on switch number 12 you can see here so interface e0 slash 0 switch port here you can see encapsulation protocol is isl so this is the reason why pc3 uh, is not able to ping pc5 so what we can do either we need to change uh, trunking encapsulation protocol on this switch or on this switch right you can change on any switch if you will change on switch number one right so let me show you if you want to change encapsulation protocol here then you will configure ISL if you want to change encapsulation encapsulation protocol on this switch then you will configure what dot 1q because here here I am running ISL and here I am running dot 1q right so both side encapsulation protocol will should be same right both side encapsulation protocol should be same so what i am going to do i am going to configure dot 1q encapsulation protocol on switch 2 as well and then i will check that uh, pcs are able to ping or not if they will ping then fine if they will not ping then we will uh, troubleshoot more things as well okay so now config t interface e 0 slash 0 and uh, switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q here i am going to configure dot 1q now now let me ping and you can verify it now as well so interface you can run this command as well by using this command also you can check encapsulation protocol here you can see encapsulation is dot 1q okay and what you can do you can run this command as well here also you can see now encapsulation protocol is dot 1q so i think now pc should ping so let me ping again same ip address so yes now you can see pc3 is able to ping pc5 okay guys and some of my subscriber was uh, were asking to me that what will happen if native vlan will mismatch so now on both switches native vlan is vlan 1 how you can verify that so interface trunk here you can see native vlan is 1 guys on this switch i am going to configure native vlan 10 config t interface e0 slash 0 switch port trunk native vlan 10 okay so now so interface trunk here you can see native vlan is 10 and i am getting log message as well that uh, uh, native vlan mismatch right so this port is going in blocking state inconsistent right so do you think that now pc1 pc3 can ping to pc5 
see guys definitely it will not ping why because this switch will not perform tagging for vlan 10 right native vlan means what that switch will not perform tagging for that particular vlan right so now my vlan 10 is native vlan here vlan 10 is native vlan so it will not add tagging so once this switch will receive a frame without tagging it will think that this switch will think what this is traffic of native vlan and on switch number 12 which vlan is native vlan vlan 1 so that means according to switch number 12 right this is a traffic of vlan 1 so it will not forward this traffic to pc 5 because this switch no pc 5 is member of vlan 10 so whenever switch will receive a frame untagged frame switch will think switch uh, will came to know that this is a traffic of native vlan so that's why what we can do here either we can change native vlan uh, either we can configure native vlan 1 on switch 11 or we can configure native vlan as vlan 10 on this switch on switch 12 so let me set native vlan 10 on switch number 12 so go to config t and interface e0 slash 0 switch port trunk native vlan i am saying that 10 right now again this pc can ping see just wait actually due to stp as you know it will take some time right ports will take around 30 seconds to come in forwarding state okay so it's not pinging let me check again so port is now unblock let me ping again okay just wait let me do troubleshoot again guys so IP interface brief okay so this port not IP so interface status connected full full this one is trunk vlan 10 20 and so interface trunk so okay native vlan is 10 let me check configuration on switch number 12 so interface status okay so this port is trunk fine so interface trunk here you can see native vlan is vlan 10 so it should be this machine should able to ping yes now you can see this machine is able to ping so actually earlier it was taking time due to stp as you know a port need uh, around 30 seconds to come in forwarding states that's why it was taking time so guys this one is one of the interview question scenario based interview question and one of my paid student request me to make one video on it that's why i have made this video so if you learn something from this video please don't forget to hit on like button and if uh, you are watching video on this channel guys please subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed it okay if you are not watching you if you are just watching this video no problem but if you are watching my all videos right my many videos right and you are learning something it's uh, become your responsibility to subscribe okay so bye bye guys that's all for today we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye